part of Normandy Road on the west side. It's now back open, but it looked like this earlier today after being closed for hours earlier today as police conducted an investigation. We've asked them questions, but we do not know exactly what they were investigating. Witnesses in the area said they had to be evacuated from their buildings. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is there now. Marilyn, what have you learned so far? Well, Janice, just like you said, uh, there were a few businesses in the area and you can take a look here. We're standing near the Walgreens. This is one of them that actually closed their doors. They told us due to the police activity, but if we swing back over here so you can see Normandy Boulevard, of course, traffic is back up and running, but in the middle of this intersection, that's where we saw this RV. Go ahead and take a look at the video we shot. You can see several units from JSO were here and behind that crime scene tape again is that RV in the middle of the road. It was closer to the median on Normandy facing east towards Four Acre Road. The RV looked like it was a part of the investigation and has been removed, but the police haven't given us any details about its possible or potential involvement. Traffic had to be redirected from the intersection and it was shut down for more than two hours. News for Jack's got several tips from viewers describing the traffic and heavy police presence in the area. We've reached out to JSO several times trying to get information on what happened here, but we just haven't heard back. As soon as we do, we'll update this story for you on newsforjax.com. We're live on the West Side tonight. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station.